Okay, so my little prototype. that I'm using for the uh, anti-backlash nuts looks a little bit like this there's let's see if you can see that there's a step there a little shoulder that goes into the first flange the hex gives me a wrench and I can put a screw in this way this side is what the other flange slides on this little rod here so we're gonna make a couple of these um, the first one I made I threaded the end because I thought I was gonna put the spring on the outside but I decided it works better on the inside so we're going to try to make several of these probably nine total maybe um, if I have enough pieces to do that with um, another thing is I'm going to thread this hole with a number eight instead of a number ten because you can see this flange is very thin I've already popped one of them off so we'll make a new one and we'll get it set up so here you go we'll start turning some stuff on the lathe So I started using these little guys I got from Blue Collar. It's just a uh, hex thing with a couple of threaded ends. I think those are quarter inch ends. Uh, I'm going to try a couple of things today to see if I can't make some more repeatable results. Uh, we'll see. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll make six. Got to turn it down to 5.2 mils, 5.2 millimeters, which is what the hole in the flange is. The mounting holes in the flange nuts are for 5 millimeter screws, so they're 5.2 in diameter, and that'll be as snug a fit as I can get, so that it doesn't. Uh, doesn't slip around too much and we're well in advance we're at 614 we've got another millimeter to take off just about and I'm also going to set a length because I want to try to get those lengths to be consistent here so let me get it I love this little square it's a little pattern maker square it's uh got it on eBay it's a pretty cool handy little square use it for everything for today we're going to figure out how deep our post will be and I think leaving me wow that was almost exactly an inch in fact it's pretty hard to tell if it's not an inch it's pretty dang pretty dang close we're gonna call it an inch that's as long as I really need I don't even need it that long but we'll leave myself about an inch or so I'll just nibble off the end to get it perfect when I get to that point. So now we'll go back to our uh, turning it down. Alright, so what I've got right now, hang on a second here, I'm going to allow myself to see what I've got. So what I've got right now, oh, there we go, is I took this, that original piece that looked like this, I'm going to put it look just like this here, looks just like one of these, and now it's one of these, like that. That's hard to see sometimes. Okay, so basically I've got 
turn down this end. Let's see if I can do that. Looks like that. Now I'm going to take this stud off, turn a shoulder here, and leave a fairly thin hex so that I can get a wrench. Turn all those, and then I will drill and tap them. Lose that to lose this little post here. And I'm bottoming out on the lathe because at some point I'm going to make sure that my the hex area is always the same size, always the same thickness. Because if not, the springs will bear differently and it'll twist the I don't want to have the nut twisted in there. So the idea is to have this is the same thickness in the hex area all the way around. But I'm also going to leave a little bit of a ring, kind of like a washer, because, and that's really the thickness that I'm most concerned about. Because I've learned, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but a hex digs in real mad. There you go, there you can, but you can see that, huh? See the rings around the holes there? That's from, that's from the, uh, the prototype's hex head having too sharp of an edge and it dug in and it sort of cut. I don't want to have it do that anymore so I'm basically going to be building in a washer here. Um, first I'll, let's see which way should I go. I have to decide how to do this operation. I haven't figured out how to manufacture yet. Um, the idea there is I want to repeatedly set the uh, location of that, uh, the thickness of that uh, washer area. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer the better. Um, so what I'm thinking I may do is uh, yank all the studs off of every one of them. I don't mind rechucking because at this point they don't have to be concentric. It doesn't matter so much. So I'm kind of figuring this out right now as we go. Ideally to set the depth, I'd like to lock this into place and use the cross slide to uh, or the carriage to the compound, that's what that is. Use the compound to uh, advance to a, a fixed location and lock everything, then every piece that goes in gets placed, and that's how that gets set. Uh, and at the very least, it marks where I want the washer to begin. I think that may be the way I go. Uh, the question is now when or where should that be happening? What I think I'll do is I'll take all the studs off and then I'll go through the operation of drilling and tapping and then I'll come back and do the so that'll work. I'll get all these studs out. Alright, so now we've got these little guys studs removed. We're gonna drill and tap these for number eight bolts. And that should give us Try to learn how to hold it for our camera here. But yeah, so that'll have a hole in it. And then along this edge, we're going to cut it down a bit to give it one. We're going to give it another shoulder about this same size to fit in the other flange. And that'll be apparent here shortly. But now we get to drill and tap, which is always a lot of fun. These things are pretty, pretty freaking handy little guys. See that there? It's got like a... See how it's got like that little sticky post out the center of it, out the tip? That's what center drills and it only sticks out of the chuck just a little bit. So that it doesn't uh, wander on you. It can't really move around much so you're going to get a fairly centered hole and a fairly good starting point and that's why I try to try to use the center drill as much as I can far enough to release that. I'm not even sure I need to be back that far. There. This is where the mini lathe gets a little bit snug. The things are a little close together here. But it's more than adequate for the job I'm doing. So you'll see here when I take this on, and it's going to be a bit tight to. It leaves. This, I don't know if you can tell it, but there you go. 
See, it's got a little stepped countersunk hole, basically. And that's where the drill bit will go in and start. Um, we'll just do this for all of them real quick. Okay, so we've got them tapped. I'm gonna see if the screw fits this perfectly nice. And we'll uh, go to the next step. And it looks like we're getting pretty good here. Screw's going in nicely and deep enough. And it's holding. That's good. I'm pleased. This ought to do just fine. So the next step is to turn us a little shoulder here and get these depths the same. One thing I want to definitely do is make sure that everything ends up at the right length as well. So the first step I'll do is actually going to be kind of a silly one, but it'll <coughs> it'll make sure everything's consistent. What I'll do is I'll cut off the ends of every one of them until they're all the same length. Because that way my posts are the same lengths and my... Uh, my uh, the hex will be the same length as well. So the next step is to get this off the same depth here. Doesn't look like we are. Okay, now my next step will be to cut the shoulder at the point I want my hex to end. We don't need a ton of space, we just need a little. This guy in. perfectly round here, just about. Yes, that is perfectly round. It's still cutting, but we're going to set you now to zero. Go a little past it and do it in until we hit zero. Cut shoulders now the whole way. Perfect, right where it is. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> We've got six of them. Six of the nine that I'm going to need. I'm going to make the nine. The other three, they're for the, uh, they're for the Acme, the white one, not the black ones. So, I th and it needs to be a little different than what I've got. Let's see here. Can we get yeah? Boy, that's hard to do. Let's head down this way. It's kind of out of focus, but... That's this. And that'll go inside. Got a little bit of goop to clean out, but otherwise... That's it. We'll uh, get things assembled here next.